Okay, welcome to the uh, third background video on the religious background of the Buddha in this A-level Buddhism series. So, who were the four groups that were part of the background, religious background of the Buddha? Well, um, we need to find out a little bit about them. They were the Jains, the Achikavars, the materialists, and the skeptics. Together, this group were a group of people who were ch already challenging, questioning uh, the old orthodox Hinduism, Brahmanism, deciding to construct their own systems of belief. Many would give up material possessions, become wandering um, beggars, as it were, of food. And they were known as the Shramana movement, uh, the four schools we've just mentioned, the Jains, the Ajifakas, the materialists, and the skeptics. You might have heard of Jains. Jains uh, were a group that practiced some very interesting things. Uh, a jiva, uh, which is sort of unlike the Atman that the Hindus believed in and the Brahmins taught, uh, was a, an individual and not part of the un universal Brahman. And you can see our, our Jains here covering their mouths. They often sweep the ground in front of them in case they practice uh, stamping on any little thing that might have a, a jiva or a, a spirit. They practiced many extreme ascetic techniques, although they, although they emphasized nonviolence uh, to the extent that even killing an insect was seen to create bad karma. But it has to be said, some of their practices seem to be self-violent towards the oneself. Jainism is still a religion today, although a very small one. The Ajivakas believed that we had no ability to affect our destiny. Uh, uh, destiny was nayati, or impersonal. Uh, it ruled everything. What will be, will be. Okay, Sarah, Sarah, uh, very, very fatalistic. Um, uh, if there's a God, he has determined everything. There's no point in even striving to do anything. And yet they practiced an extreme asceticism uh, to try and end their last human rebirth through self-starvation. It's perhaps this group that the Buddha joined and, pr and tried to practice. The third of the four groups are the materialists bit pessimistic, these guys. This life was all there was. There is no life after death, and all we have to do is enjoy ourselves as much as possible. We don't get a second chance. Perhaps the early life of the Buddha would have influenced his thinking about this. And as with the Vedic Hindus, they did not view actions as, as moral actions, as worthy of, of doing anything. The last group are the skeptics, also very pessimistic in their outlook. They criticized all other systems of belief without offering any alternatives. They thought there was nothing we can be certain uh, about, nothing uh, we can believe in. So uh, you might want to read up more on any of these four groups. Absolutely vital that you know some of them in articulating the background to the Buddha.